non più tra i farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Hi everyone, it's Hetty again. I'm here to show you how to make polenta. This is instant polenta. It only takes three to five minutes to cook. You can use regular cornmeal, because that's what polenta is, cornmeal. You can use regular cornmeal and just cook it a few minutes longer. It's not that much of a difference. So what I have here is the polenta. I have some butter and I have some grated cheese. Some people just put salt in the polenta and that's it. Some people put salt and butter. I like to add grated cheese. I think everything is enhanced with grated cheese, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is open this vacuum packed. You gotta be careful because it starts coming apart. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure, you see how that's lumped together? I want to make sure there's no lumps. There's not, you don't want your polenta to be lumpy. It's not a good taste in your mouth and you don't get all the flavor of it. So what I'm doing is breaking it up. This is about, that package has three cups in it. And there's three cups. So make sure you get rid of all those little lumps in there. And what I'm doing behind me is I'm boiling a pot of water, which I've salted. And you can cook according to the package directions. But this polenta cooks so quickly. You just have to make sure you pour it in slowly so that there's no lumps. I don't know why, but my mother never made polenta. And I had it in a restaurant once and I said, you know, how come she never made this? But then I realized that she made cream of wheat or farina. That's what we had. It's very similar. It's, but it this polenta has a little extra kick. All right, the water is boiling. I'm going to show you how I pour it in. Very, very slowly and continuously stir so that it doesn't clump up. You don't want it to clump up. Takes a while, huh? <laughs> uh, to get it out, it, uh, yeah, so that it doesn't, you don't have, uh, you know, little balls there. <laughs> Nobody likes little balls. <laughs> okay. That's it. Now just stir and cook it. This will take three to five minutes. If you're not using the instant one, It'll take like five to 10 minutes. But at this point, while it's cooking, what I do is I add the butter. So it melts nicely in there. See how nice and creamy it is? No little balls, no lumps. I love polenta. You can make it so many ways. Now, how we're gonna, I'm going to make it today is I'm going to have it separately in a bowl with a little marinara sauce, which I already made, and there's another video on how to make that. And then all you could use any kind of sauce. You pour this in the bowl, put a little well in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, uh, and you pour in the marinara sauce. I like bolognese sauce in there. You could even put some meatballs and the sauce from the, the, the meatball, the, the gravy, excuse me calling it gravy. I get so many complaints. You know, my first video, the meatball video, I got a couple of complaints that it's too dark, but I can't make it again. That video has like 190,000 views on it. And so it's the best video that I have so far and I can't, redo it and make it lighter so you can anybody who watches is going to have to bear with a little darkness <laughs> you and I 
Do you have to stir that the entire time? Yes. So you don't get little bowls? Yes. It's almost done. It's done. I'm shutting the flame. Okay, so here is, um, I'm adding the Parmigiana cheese. It's a cup. You can add more if you like. I don't want to overwhelm it. But, again, keep stirring because the cheese can boil up. You don't have to add the cheese if you don't want it. But I like the extra flavor that it brings. Ah, oh, look at this. Isn't this wonderful? Now what I'm going to do is bring the pot over to the counter. I, you know, every with my accent, I'm sorry, it's a New York accent. Everybody makes fun of me. I was in Georgia once uh, when I went on a sales trip with my company when I was working. I'm retired now. Semi-retired. I write cookbooks, I have a YouTube cooking channel, I have my uh, website, Hetty's Place, that I write a blog. If any of you are not members, by all means, join Hetty'sPlace.com. The link should be below the video. Now, what I'm gonna do now is take the, oh, I, I, I didn't finish my story. So when I was in Georgia, I would go into a restaurant or wherever, and I would just say something, and they would automatically say, y'all from New York, aren't you? And I say, yes, I am. Hard to hide. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is bring this over. I have um, sprayed this pan with the cooking spray. And also here, I'm going to put this in with a, with a, a dab of uh, marinara sauce. So you can use whatever you want. You make a well in the middle, you can use whatever sauce you want. You can make bolognese, meatballs in there with the sauce from the Sunday sauce. Uh, but I like the marinara sauce. You could also use anchovy sauce, uh, gorgonzola. A lot of people may put gorgonzola in the middle. So uh, I'm gonna get my ladle and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so I have all my things prepped here. I have my marinara sauce also. There's a video uh, on my channel, how to make marinara sauce. Also how to make bolognese sauce and how to make gravy or Sunday sauce. So here's my pot of uh, polenta. But what I have to tell you is that the directions on the box say to put two quarts of water for two cups. So stands to reason you would put three quarts of water for three cups, but I don't like it that thick. I like it a little creamier. You can even add cream to this if you want. But in any event, I add a little bit more water than what the directions say. Okay, so here is, ah, look at that. Isn't that nice? Really wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna get a spoon and we're gonna to try to make a well in the middle, which is gonna be a little difficult because it's soft. But anyway. Just put it in the Yeah, I need that. <laughs> okay, so here's your marinara sauce. It's kinda hot. So I'm going to let that set a little bit like that. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is, you know, I think this is uh, too small. But hey, you can always have, give this to the kids for dinner. It's a great dinner. Anyway, let's see that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to chill it. What I do is I chill, you have to chill it for at least two or three hours. And after you chill it, you have to make sure you wipe it down when you take it out of the pan. I'll sh um, it's very difficult to explain, but what I'm gonna- t I'm More trying to pat to it dry. Yeah, well, after it's chilled and you cut it up, you have to pat it dry. Because what I'm going to do with this after it's chilled is I'm going to deep fry it. It is heavenly. I make it on uh, Christmas Eve too because my sons don't eat fish. 
another thing they don't need. <laughs> and uh, I see I knew this wasn't going to be enough. After you're cooking for 50 years, you have an eye for what fits and what doesn't fit. So I'm going to put this on the side and I'm going to put in another little pan. So what I'm going to do is chill this and because it's thick, when I slice it, I'm going to slice it down the middle too. And then make sure that it's all moisture free because when you start to fry it, what's going to happen is, look out, it's going to be popping all over the place like popcorn. You're going to think it's the 4th of July. <laughs> She's only had a couple of sips too. She's already uh, <laughs> this is natural. So this is gonna go and get chilled. And in the meantime, I'm gonna taste this. Actually, we gotta take a photo of both of them. Okay, so now I'm ready to taste it. And just in case you didn't notice, I switched it to the big pan. <laughs> uh, it was, I had so much left over, I had to put it in two pans. That's a pain in the butt. Anyway, here it is. It's hot and ready to go. Oh gosh, that looks good. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. And I, like I said, when this chilled, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, chill it for at least, I would say three hours. That's a big dish. You chill it. And then you cut it in pieces. You don't have to use it all at once. What I do sometimes, uh, we have it left over. I'll wrap it up very well and put it in the freezer. You can take it out at any time. Again, after it defrosts, make sure you take out all the moisture before you fry. You can fry it, you can eat it alone, you can eat it with the mamata sauce, whatever you want. Hi again. This is the uh, polenta after it's been chilling for few hours. Actually this I chilled overnight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece and then after I take it out, it should be easy to get out because I, whoops, I put in uh, the spray but uh, you never know. So I'm going to take this out. You know what, let's make it easier. Let's make life easier. See, there's a lot of moisture here. The condensation, because it's been in the refrigerator for so long. So what I do is, cut it into halves, and then also smaller, but what I'm gonna do is uh, just slice it down the middle, because it's too thick. And when it's so thick, it takes longer to fry and uh, it, this is easier so that it'll absorb the water that's coming out of it. So. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to cover it and pat it. You may have to do this a couple of times, but if you leave it like this for like 10 minutes, it should absorb all the water. And I'll show you uh, the paper towels after it's absorbed some of the water. Okay, so the uh, polenta has been in the paper towels and I've been patting it like this to get whatever moisture uh, is excess moisture out of it. Okay, so I don't, you can see it's pretty dry, but you know what? It still pops. So I keep this like this, not to put on the cup, but just to protect myself from the splatter. Okay? So here, let's see, it's very hot. See? Thank <laughs> you. 
cold, you know. It might be even better if you wait a little while and wait for them to get a little bit more room temperature because the cold hitting the oil will also make it flat. So I have all these pieces in here and I'm just gonna keep this like that to protect it from splattering all over the place. Okay, so you make it brown and then you turn it over and let it brown again. And I'll show you what happens when we're done. Okay, so these have been in there for about five to six minutes, and I'm going to flip them. Uh, I like them a little toasty, brown. If you find that it's not brown, leave them in there a little longer. Uh, I had uh, put the um, flame to medium. See, that's a little brown, but not as brown as I like. So just turn them over. I sometimes use the... A deep fryer, but I found that the polenta was sticking to the, to the grating on the bottom and it made for uh, a difficult removal. So just be careful because they, you know, I put a few too many, you should put less because then it makes it easier to flip if there's not that many in there. Okay, so they've uh, been frying. The first uh, round, it was like seven minutes. So, and this here is like they stick together. So you got to be careful. That's why I said put in less when you're frying. I put in too many. I have to say, trying to get it done. But this is what it looks like when it comes out. So this is what the fried polenta looks like. Uh, as I said, I put too many in the plate. My son is doing the taste test. So what's the consensus here? Delicious. Mm. Crispy. Crispy. Crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. Delicious. Okay. So I've showed you polenta two ways. There's so many ways to make polenta, but this is the one that my family likes the best. So this is what I make. Oh, by the way, this is the second batch. That's the way we like it. Crispy, crunchy, and they not stuck together because I didn't overcrowd the pan. I really don't know what to make sometimes or what to, uh, you know, a videotape. Some things are take forever. That's better for the winter time. Uh, but I'd like to make some quick dishes that I know uh, people might like, like would you be interested in a frittata? or pasta lindicchia, that's pasta with lentils. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, dishes uh, or that we refer to as Italian soul food. So if you have any uh, recommendations of what I can make that are uh, quick and easy, because a lot of people, like I had one lady here tell me, well this, is, this dish on my pasta vasul is right up my alley. It's quick, it's easy, and it's delicious. And I had somebody just send me a remark on Facebook that uh, she enjoyed it so much she made it. So if you have some quick dishes that you'd like me to demonstrate, by all means, send me a message and uh, put it in the comments below. I send all my messages that I get to my sons and my daughter. They love reading it, they get a kick out of it. Sometimes I get a kick out of it. Sometimes they, the people can be really uh, annoying here and there. Uh, that's going to be in there. Anyway, so hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel. I have a YouTube channel that you already subscribed to. And also my blog on hettysplace.com. On the bottom of the main page you'll see uh, a subscribe here uh, icon. Whatever. Icon. Is that what you call it? Icon? So, bon appetit. Hope you enjoy making the polenta. It's really simple, really easy, and really delicious. Hope you're having a great summer. Bon appetit. And in the hustle and bustle, the sun shines. Okay, now you're going to see what I'm going to do with it. You still videoing? Yeah. Have fun, Nabla. <laughs> <laughs>
didn't know I was supposed to stop. Get more than one at a time. They were all stuck together, friends. How do you like the weather, friends? There we go. Uh, you know, it's... What's this? <laughs> my, my son is going like this. I don't know what that means. But anyway. It means look at the camera. Oh. <laughs> Writing stories mainly about what it was like growing up in East Holland during the 50s. Hate to say it, but anyway. Uh, so give it a shot. And let me know if you make the Valenta how it turns out. Until next time. Did I forget to mention anything? <laughs> bon appétit. What are you doing? I stopped.